There goes the hope. This looks amazing. Did we make it? What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So in the last video, uh, we ended up basically choosing the side of Phineas. We were finally able to get up uh, uh, to choose a side. Uh, I thought the entire time was going to be based off of all the decisions we've made and potentially it's still like that but I ended up solidifying my position and ended up siding with Phineas so now we're at the hope and we've got to essentially connect the hope onto the unreliable and get it to go over by Phineas's secret lab so this is going to be very interesting I honestly think we're very close to the end and this might be the last video so We'll make that determination a little bit later. Obviously, I don't know the ending of this game or anything like that. So, we're going to be finding out together. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Alrighty. Why is there... Is that it? What is this right there? Hope Communications. Hope Auxiliary Power. So, one thing that we're supposed to do for sure is connect the... Is that a person? Wait a minute. Um, hold up. Let's see. Universal Defense would like a. So if I. Oh, fuck. Not exploding, so I guess it worked. That sound was scary. So, I guess now we gotta go to the comms building, right? Quincy Duncan, who are you? You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Uh... Is... Is that any way to to treat a new hire? Bullshit. If UDL was sending more folks, they'd have told us. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just following orders. I get you. This is the dullest job I've ever had. But orders said to stand here, so here I am. <laughs> All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. To your right. All right, so that's my left. Uh, is that the anti-riot gear? Okay, yeah. Ooh, what is this? Wait a minute. down well we got that thing but we already a, we're pretty much already a part of them so well what is this thing dude is this did I just find a legendary hold on where's my okay inventory and no <laughs> what a shame Wasn't there supposed to be right gear? You know what? It was probably. I have no idea. In here, maybe? I have no idea. Can I just walk in here? I should probably save it right here. All right, let's see. Awesome. This should definitely be interesting. Alright, so I guess I gotta go around. I'm so fucking scared right now. I 
I got a key card of something. Close the fucking door. Whoa. God, I'm so scared. Well, there goes our stealth. Now I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're screwed. I gotta figure out how to get out of here, and I don't know how. Wait, what is this? Uh, automated auto transcript. I don't know what that is. Continue. Continue. Okay. Nothing at all. That's useful. We're probably gonna have to reload. Or maybe. Woo! What's that? Okay, engineer log. You got a second? Sure, what's up? You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Okay. I like that one. Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. <laughs> Not bad, Felix. Uh, our adventure serial's gonna need a name too. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. Uh... I prefer the the adventures of Luis and company. Um All right. I don't want to sound egocentric or anything like that. I'm glad you're having fun, but we got a job to do, bro. Yeah, we stealing the Oops. from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is going to be great. I can't wait. I like your attitude, Felix. Enough to boost my pay? Eh, I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. <laughs> I'm Oops. sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The Hope might have cameras. Sure. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, let's go. How do I get over there, dude? Like, it seems so close yet so far. That's back where we started, isn't it? What's this? Normal operations. Tracking. Where the fuck are we, dude? I have no idea. But you know what? Let's just... Let's just go. Let's just deal with this. What's in here? Don't mind if I do. No, that's going back outside. No, that's still the beginning. I suppose we could always start over. Ow! Maybe not with the broken leg. I'm nervous. Let's look in here. Maybe we could disable the robots. No, no, so, hell no. That dude's staring right at me, so no thank you. Let's go ahead and step outside again and reset our little meter. How the hell am I going to do this though, man? 
Like, it's literally right there. But I have no idea how to get there. So many freaking robots. Holy shit, dude. Get in here. Woo! Let's see what's this. Status? No. Pod removal. Wait a minute. Am I the only one who wants to scratch my name on one of those pods? This is where we started the game. I figured. What's this? Okay. No. I don't think there's a way to just disable all of the robots. I wish there was a way I could just dis- oh, Holy sh- Fucking shit. Leave me alone! Wait, let's see. Ah, oh, crap. All right, let's go ahead and reload. <coughs> Wait, where the hell are we? Can we talk? Sure. So we're really going to do this? Of course we are. I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Terra 2's orbit right under the board's nose? I trust Phineas. Something tells me you're the first person to ever utter those words, Captain. Potentially, yes. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story, you know, if we survive. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? They're my people, dude. Uh. Well, what about you? You're still with me. I'll do anything for a good story. And nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. But I ask you first. Look. The people of Halcyon deserve a chance. So do the colonists on the Hope. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. I do. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they going to pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just going to leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? We'll pull together. I'm confident in that. You're too trusting. And I'm going to remember that when I negotiate for my cut of our reward, okay? Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Thank you, Ellie. Anything I appreciate else? that. Nope, let's go. First things first, I need to reset my thing. Let's try this again. This is so freaking intimidating, dude. We made it all the way there last time. Hopefully we can again. Greetings. Authorized personnel. Let's go. Alright, so oh shit. I can take a hint. Um I need that robot to leave, please. <laughs> Come on. Neither one of them is looking. There we go. And I'm attempting to establish contact with the host. More primitive processor now. Looks like we're doing this. Oh no. 
Man, you know what? Fuck it. You gotta get past that old. Here I come. Here we go. I'm done hiding. Not bad, huh? I just wanna kill them all. And we got our disguise back. Legit, I don't even care about the boards thing anymore. As long as we can escape, we're fine. I'm nervous though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh. Oh fuck. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? Yes, we, yes I am. Yes, yes, yes I am. Uh... You probably shouldn't be talking to me. Corbin doesn't like us socializing on duty. I'm just trying to make sure you belong here. I don't. <laughs> I was transferred here by HHC. I guess you got a point. I better get back to work. Bye. I don't have Wait a minute. Fuck. I'm not even... Damn it, I went the wrong way. Well, here we go again. This should be very interesting. To say the least. Can I go through here? Oh, no. What is that? Looks like just a regular shotgun. I'm screwed. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Um... This statement is false. <laughs> Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. <laughs> Everything I say is false. Error. Paradox prevention has temporarily disabled this unit's auditory processing. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, so... We have to find a way to get over there. Crap, do I have to pick this lock? Oh no, I have a key. Hell yeah, dude. So now I go this way. I don't have the key to this place though. Damn it. Okay, I guess we gotta go upstairs. Back to the stealth, I suppose. And no more stealth. That was quick. That was the fastest stealth mission ever. All right, let's go ahead and save it here. Because I know we're going to be getting into trouble soon. Who are you? Oh, we got some robots over there, too. Alright, let's go. Maybe if we just walk straight there, we'll be fine. Keep your shoulders up. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. Yes, it is. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. It's a him. Alright, let's see. Comms. Patch to Ada. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to skip the Hope. Wait, before I do this, tell me, Ada, am I really doing the right thing? Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. 
My constellation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Wow, that's, uh, not great. And you didn't answer my question, really. You just said probably not, but okay, whatever. I'm ready to skip the hope. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. No Skipping shit. The hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. <laughs> and also uh. potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Uh, um, uh, no. Skip the hope to Terra 2? Is that where we're supposed to go? I'm not sure, actually. Because I know... Well, I think... I mean, it's our only option, so... Let's go. Starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Do it! Worst way is to go out, I suppose. It's nice knowing you, boss. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. Uh-oh. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? Yes, I do. That's what my captain intends. Yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. And so do I. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Oh shit, here goes. What's going on? There goes the hope. This looks amazing. Did we make it? successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Hey, we made it. We oh, did. Yeah. Uh So you said Phineas didn't respond? That's a very interesting development. I'm nervous because I think Phineas might have sold us out. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? No. That's odd because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh. Uh, I don't recognize you. Are you new here? Yes. I'm just trying to make sure you belong here. I was transferred by HHC. I guess you got a point. I better get back to work. Just don't make more paperwork for me, all right? Can I just, like, get out of here, please? How do I get out of here, though? Oh, right here. Duh. Let's go. Wait, am I supposed to go back to Phineas? Yeah, return to Phineas's lab. And talk to him about the next steps. Duh. 
Dun dun dun. All right, so is this where we came from? It is. And I think we came this way. I hope we have enough juice to get out of here. Because if we don't, we're going to get caught by that one dude again. Oh no, this is nerve-wracking. I think we got enough though. Let's go! I can't believe none of these people noticed that we just flew across the galaxy. And we did it without killing most robots and people. No people and almost no robots. Just a, a handful, I suppose. Well, let's go! Captain, I am Captain. I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Yes, please. The board is here. They've found me somehow. Oh, They're no. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, are all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. Okay. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... Oh shit. The recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. Absolutely. How can I be of assistance? Uh let's go. I'll be here. No, we're gonna go help out Phineas, dude. This is interesting. Are we still on the same mission? No, not inventory. Uh, yeah, we still got the same thing. All right, let's go. All righty. What is going to happen? Is there a note on the wall? Arrest uh, protocol. Uh oh. Make him request. Die, you corporate bastard! Where are they at? Don't die! Watch this! You're up, Ellie! Hell yeah, we did it, guys. Woo! That was intense. Let's go ahead and loot these bastards. What else is there? Alright, whatever. Wait, sabotage note? Oh, scribe note. Never mind. Just kidding. Where's that other dude? There he is. Let me go ahead and loot these other guys, and then I'll go in there and investigate. Wait a minute. Is he still alive? Oh, I thought I heard him whining and stuff. Alright, what's this? Uh... Okay. I'm kind of confused, so what am I supposed to do? Phineas's terminal password? He shoved it up a pig. There we go, enter password. First entry. The hope made it to Halcyon after all. After 25 years too late, the board doesn't know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, second entry. Okay... Yeah, whatever. Open panel. Let's go. Scary. So this is his own house. Finn's force? Is this shotgun? 
And furthermore, is it a... Ooh. Let me check this out really quick. Is this considered a ranged? Long guns, yeah. Oh, wow. That could potentially be nice. Alright. What's this? Pick up Tarsia's na- uh, Tar- Terra- Whatever nav key. I guess we're at war. Oh, we just completed best kept secret or whatever. So brave new world confront Sophia. Dude, you don't see missions that say confront so and so unless it's the final mission of the game. Or a false sense of completion of the game. Like it's teasing the end, but then they're like, ah, psych, you thought you were going to fight this person. So I'm pretty sure this is the final mission of the game. Should be interesting. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. They're always arguing, but right now we got Captain, bigger things to do. As it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet. I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Well, this is this is different. Well, folks, I ain't exactly keen on busting into a prison. But riddling bored stooges with bullets does sound like a riot and a half. I'm not one for pointless heroism, but the board's gonna be after us next. We gonna finish what we started? To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Uh, we can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him. If we have any hope of saving the colony. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. This is the final mission. We're doing it, everyone strap in. If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick, got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Let's do this. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Absolutely. But Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. <laughs> command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Do I have to click on something? Oh, let's go. You guys are amazing. But this is it. Wait, no, where am I going? Where am I going again? <laughs> I don't even know my own ship and I'm the captain. Oh, well, here it goes. You're about to assault the Lambrith on ta ta whatever and determine the fate of Halcyon Colony. If there's anything you would like to do before we enter the prison, do it now. Before you cross this point, there's no return. Would you like to continue? abso fucking lootly abso fucking lootly again. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Well. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Uh, know anything useful about Tartarus? Resident count is as follows: three thousand seventy-one. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. <laughs> I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me, in the event that you do not return. Nice try. 
but not happening. Understood. If you die or are incarcerated for life, I can generate a new ID for the next captain. I would prefer you return, though. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. No, don't worry, I'm supposed You're to be here. You confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Yeah, no, not before you, though. Uh, how long will that take? I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, that'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. Not before you, mother... Hey, how do you know... How do I know you're a real officer under that helmet? Show me your biometric ID. Alright. I'm feeling generous. I'm transmitting the ID of a productive, law-abiding employee so you can see what one looks like before you die. What an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> the authority signing up. Hang on. Another ship just pulled into your dock. What? Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. Transferring data to external cartridge. How can I be of assistance? What? I'm so confused. Why was there another ship? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Well, let's do this, guys. It's time. I am so nervous. Look at that. They're already marked red. Oh shit, it's all out battle! Let's do this! You corporate drone! Maybe, maybe I should focus on <laughs> on my health a little more, huh? Oh well. Can I do like a drop? Yep. Let's go. We got this. Oh wait, that's Felix. What the hell am I doing? Let's go! This gun is insane. Woo! Let's go, guys! Where am I supposed to go exactly? That's it. Hell yeah, boy. This is insane, dude. We blasted on the surface. Getting in's one thing. Let's just hope we're able to get out again. Oh, we will. Man, these freaking long elevators, I swear, dude. How far do we have to go? Luckily, it doesn't seem to be very far. Oh, that's just the pit access, though. Nice of them to leave us a few options. Honestly, I just want to kill everybody, dude. All right, how do I, how do I do this? Let's go! 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I saw that too late. All right, so let's try this again, but this time... I got your back. This time, let's go ahead and save it. Right here. I guess I could have just done it stealthily, huh? This is nerve-wracking, dude. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down. Keep your shoulders up. Oh god. Are you new here? I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Uh are you talking while on shift? Oh, no. Don't tell anyone, please. Everyone makes a mistake. Just don't do it again. Thank you. Woo, that's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and go up here. This is insane, dude. Alright, cool. We get to reset our, our stealth. Where the hell is Ellie and Felix? Oh, hey, look. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of this stuff real quick. Nothing special and nothing special. Alright, let's take a look at the second one. Duh. Oh, I don't need any of that. Nope. Don't need that. And I don't need any of that. Maybe I should buy this and just give it to them, huh? Nah. What I need to do is upgrade weapons. So, Tinker. Uh. So. Alright, I'm gonna do as much as I can. I guess that's everything I could do. But my gun should be a hell of a lot stronger now. Oh, let's go. Oh, shit. All right. So where are we supposed to go? That way. Let's go ahead and save it while we're here. Just in case. But let's see if I can pickpocket this or whatever. Nope. So let's go the other way. Oh, God. This is so scary, dude. They're going to catch me. Don't mind me. I'm just one of those corporate commandos just like you. <clears throat> la 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 la. Are you new here? Yep. I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Uh, are you talking while on shift? Oh, no. Don't tell anyone, please. Alright. Thank you. Thank God for my high, high fucking stealth uh, persuasion skills. Let's go. I hope you guys are ready. Alright, so where to? That way. Can I just go through here? I, as a matter of fact, can. Holy crap, dude. If I didn't have my high communication skills, this would have been insane, dude. Alright, where to anyways? I guess this way. Let's go ahead and skip that one dude, man. Maybe we can save our little persuasion skills. Whoops. No, let's go ahead and get that same gun that I had because that gun was pretty strong. Oh, God. Look. Hold it. Something about you doesn't look right. Uh, hey. I can't help the way I look, all right? No, I'm ugly. There's something about it. 
something's wrong about yours. I, st I stole some polish off of one of the po uh, prisoners. God damn. Lucky you. Woo! Don't mind me. Just trotting along. It's sealed. Unsealed door. Well, that was hard. <laughs> well, look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. Dude, I just want to kill him. I see you've brought the kid along. Babysitters may be expensive, but they're worth it, you know. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, pal. I'll just keep thinking of a place to bury your body. Ah, oh, and the wayward doctor. Are you about done with your escapades? We have faces that need lifting, after all. These days, I'm more interested in breaking them. Wouldn't mind taking a swing at yours. Dude, we're gonna end up when killing him. go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Chairman uh, Rockwell, I presume. My word. You've correctly identified the most recognizable man in the colony. Remarkable. It's a wonderful Pretty soon, we're not gonna recognize you. Then again, he's an insane person. Thankfully, he's our insane person now. A proper company man. Not for long. Please, Phoenix would rather die than corp uh, cooperate. Yes, he is an extraordinarily <laughs> obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's, that's between us. No. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. Uh, that crackpot saved the frozen colonists you gave up on. Oh, yes. Go on. Wake them up. Add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? No, not really. Are you kidding me? We're out here trying to clean up your mess. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. You know, I wouldn't have to... I wouldn't have to if you'd be more cooperative about all of this. Uh... All right, yeah. Oh, right. This coming from the psychopathic outlaw. Yes, I'll try to be more open-minded about your path of wanton dissent. We don't need your help. Sounds like you need more help than just mine. I've already ra uh, rallied Byzantium against you. It's only a matter of time. Is that what you were doing at the ministry? Maybe. Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive, uh, I can't exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. <laughs> so you're a sellout. Out of your mind? Rockwell's the biggest monster in Halcyon. You got any idea how many lives he's destroyed? How many people he's hurt? I'm not planning to stay with him. Enough. You even think about cooperating with this... this animal? And you and I are finished. Whoa, okay, okay. Your loyalty is worth more than Rockward support, uh, subservience, whatever. You're damn right it is. Ugh. If you're going to place more faith on this brat than the chairman of the fucking colony, then there's no hope for you. Dude, we're all going to take you out no matter what. That was worth it. That was very much worth it.
This is not going very good. All right, good. That bastard's dead. That's all he had in his inventory? What a waste. Let's go. I'm willing to bet this is going to be a disaster. But I don't regret doing that. Not at all. That guy's a, that guy was scum. All right, so we have to go there. What's the fastest way? Looks like it's exactly the same thing either way. So, all right. Don't mind me. Just chilling, killing. You know the usual. See what the fuss is about a blasted lab coat. The fugitives, the fugitives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A busy worker and a happy worker. Uh let's go. Woo, just in time. I'm feeling jittery, are you? Cause I'm not Yeah, you are. Hope you're right about this, Captain. Oh, I am. Captain. You have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. There he is. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Uh, it's over, Sophia. Stand down. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're a gifted warrior, Captain. You've made your talent for combat abundantly clear. For all your talents, you are the enemy of Halcyon, and therefore you are my enemy. You really want to go down this route? Alrighty. I'm here for Phineas. Let him go. Now. Hmm. You make a nuanced and compelling argument. Here's my rebuttal. No. Well, you're about to see Dr. the end of my Wells barrel. being held in my custody. His cooperation will prove invaluable, even if I have to beat it out of him. All that's left to do is put down this riot, arrest you, and then get on with the bloody business of saving this colony. You're funny. You're a funny person. Don't test me, Sophia. It's bad for your health. I'm aware of your propensity for violence. Halcyon is a bloodier place because of you. You're welcome. I wish you'd simply cooperated with me. You're the finest marksman in Halcyon. You could have been my gun. I'm nobody's anything. I'm rescuing Phine uh, Phineas. And I'm not going through. It, and I'm going through if... It, why can't I read this sentence? <laughs> and I'm going through you if I have to. There we go. I had a feeling you'd say that. <clears throat> this prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. Well, this got complicated. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically or something. Oh, God. I have a feeling I should save it right here. Not to figure out how to get down there. Is that it? Well, let's do this. I have a feeling I'm going to die a few times here. Good luck. Ah! What the fuck? Oh no, there's more than... There's a lot of them. Let's 
Let's go. Oh god, there's so many of them. Stay with me, Ellie. Shit, I'm by myself now. Oh god, I'm so fucked. Ah! Let's go! Oh god, come on, come on, come on. Is that all of the flying ones? I think it is. Let's go ahead and regroup. Where is he? Come on, you fucktard. Ah! Don't come, you fucktard. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cheese this guy. If this works, I swear to God. I wonder where his health level is. Where is he? He's still there, isn't he? Crap, dude, this dude is... He's strong. I'm gonna take him out no matter what. I don't know why this music reminds me of Terminator. Did he just get more people? Fuck. Get away from me, please. I'd be uh, very appreciative if you just leave me the hell alone. I think he's almost dead. Where is he? Oh, fuck. Ah! Run! Crap, he called some more backup. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. That's one down. Ah! Let's go! What happened to all the robots? Oh, he's so fucked, dude. Let's go ahead. This is where we win this, right here.
Oh crap, let's go! Did I win? Woohoo! Ellie! Felix, let's go! Dude, we did that first try too. Let's go ahead and heal a little bit. Dude, we've used up more than half of our ammo. Goodbye, Sophia. <laughs> Very nice. Do I open this? How the fuck? I thought I used it already. You don't know how glad I am to see you. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved. And long overdue. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind. And I can't begin to thank you enough. Uh, I mean, you're welcome, but we still gotta get out of here. Are you alright? What did they do to you? I'm alright, thanks to you. Akande <laughs> wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me. If you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. I don't like the sound of that at all. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. Hold on, Doc. Are you telling me the Earth went dark three years ago, and the board's just been covering this up? They've been incredibly effective at concealing the truth. Right now, the only people in the colony who know are standing in this room. Oh, snap. They haven't exactly been hands-on around here anyway. So there's one less rubber stamp to worry about. Earth is humanity's home planet, Miss Fenhill. The psychological effects of losing our original home will be devastating. I can see that. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Why can't we go back? We have a lot of work ahead of us. We best get started. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony, one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? Of course I'll help. You can count on me. I'll help you revive the other colonists. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. When I revived you, I thought we were going to save this colony all by ourselves. But I was wrong. We can't save Halcyon on our own. We're all going to have to pull together, somehow. We are not a colony anymore. Our last connection to Earth has been severed. I don't know if we'll survive, but we're going to have to try our best. Of course, it's the best we can do. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. 
They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Left unchecked, the war on Monarch consumed both MSI and the Iconoclasts. And when the sulfur clouds settled, only stragglers from both factions remained. Some found their way to Sublight, some to Terra too, and some lived their final years fighting for food in the wilderness. In the end, only the beasts remained. Sublight Salvage adapted to the changes in Halcyon, shifting their business model to suit the times. Their claims of legitimacy were scrutinized but ultimately unquestioned. Lilia Hagen would continue to protect her family as ruthlessly as ever. After returning to Edgewater, the deserters negotiated workplace reforms with Reed Thompson, including a single day of rest, which came to be known as a weekend. <laughs> as the world around him changed, Thompson found himself pining for the old days. He was known to spend his weekends in the cantina, nursing one of the few remaining bottles of Zero G, and repeating to himself, it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. As for Adelaide McDevitt, she tended to her garden in solitude for another year before passing away. Her body was discovered some months later, when Reed Thompson paid her a visit in an effort to make amends. Her remains were buried in a place of honor, underneath the floor of the Edgewater Cannery. Reed believed this was what she always wanted. Under the leadership of June Lay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lay the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's tradition. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. Your influence shifted Ellie's perspective. She finally admitted, albeit grudgingly, that she just might need other people. Sometimes. With a steady income from the life insurance payouts, she was finally able to afford a ship of her own. She hired a small crew and flew supply missions to communities on the fringe. Some of them were even legal. Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Melstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. <clears throat> Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. After all he'd seen and heard adventuring with you, the vicar Maximilian de Soto renounced his faith and joined the effort to rebuild the colony. Ironically, he finally found the joy that had eluded him over the course of his life and realized that perhaps he was always meant to be just a simple laborer after all. He quickly dismissed the idea. Though Parvati eventually grew comfortable aboard the Unreliable, 
She never quite came out of her shell. She seemed to prefer the company of Ada to the crew, and she could often be found neck deep in cables and grease, telling Ada funny stories from her childhood. While the colony fell into chaos, she found an island of relative peace with Ada, and they formed an unusual bond. She decided to remain aboard the Unreliable permanently as its chief and sole engineer. As hard as she tried to drink them away, Nyoka's memories eventually overcame her. Traveling with the crew served as a constant reminder of the family she'd lost, and so she eventually returned to Monarch to get back to what she found most comfortable, the deep end of a bottle and the far end of a trail. Few have seen her since, but travelers often swear they hear her and her machine gun in the night, screaming swears and spitting bullets. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. Though he was always haunted by the failures of his past, he was determined to make things right by building toward the future. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. The revival project was hard and painful work, but in the end, despite limited resources, over half the Hope's colonists were successfully revived. Even after Wells passed away, the Hope's scientists and engineers worked night and day to pull Halcyon from the brink of collapse. Their efforts continue to this day, which may be reason enough for optimism. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Life will never be the same in Halcyon. It is widely agreed that the colony has a chance of stabilizing within a generation, owing to the hard work and determination of the surviving colonists. Recovery is a distant goal, and the path is long and uncertain. But the people of Halcyon carry on, determined as ever. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this, the name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. All right, guys. So first things first, I absolutely loved this game and I am very sad that it's over. Most likely I'm gonna be playing this for quite some time after this series is over. Obviously it's already over, but once it's like published and everything like that, I'm probably gonna still continue playing this game. I liked it that much. So if this is a series that you guys enjoyed, Definitely do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, then I'll catch you guys in the next series. Deuces.